Good morning, teachers and friends. We are from Group 4. There are me, Kylie, Sultan, Janina, Luffy, and Aaron. In this video today, we will be showing you the process of our microgreen project. Before we show you the process of what happened during the last 11 days, we will be explaining what microgreen is. So, microgreens are the shoot vegetable greens that can act, act as a nutrition supplement, visual enhancement, and it can also add flavors and textures to the dish we eat. The process of our microgreen growth would take 7 to 14 days. In this experiment, we have two microgreens, pea shoots and kangkong. For the procedures, we need to have a tray with holes to put the seed on and another tray to hold water. First, we need to soak the seeds for about 5-12 to hours. After waiting, we spread the seeds equally on the tray with holes, one side kangkong and the other pea shoot. Then get a piece of paper and put it on top of the seeds and spray it with water. We need to keep the paper on. We need to keep the paper on the seeds for about two to three days and spray the water, paper with water every morning and afternoon. After two to three days, the, the plants need sunlight, so move it to a place with sunlight. Uh, the difficulties we faced is that some of our members couldn't really listen well to the workshop because most of our members they were having connection problems, and the connection problems caused whatever was being said to be incomprehensible so they couldn't hear and because of that we re we didn't really know how to do the micro green kit we've been asked we we asked each other if they knew but they also had the same problem everyone except sultan that is why sultan was the one who did the micro green kit i will now show you the time lapse of our group's micro green from day 1 to day 10 for day one, I planted them at around 7 p.m. On day seven, I figured they would need sunlight, so I moved it to my parents' balcony. On day 10, the pea shoots were about 17 centimeters tall and the kangkong was 11 centimeters. Here we have the roots of the microgreen. On the right are pea shoots and the left are kangkung. Let's bring us to the end of our presentation. I'd like to summarize that by doing this microgreen is not that too easy because we need to soak the microgreen for longer and we need to water the tray. And of course, the plants need more sunlight and longer time to grow or else the microgreen will be considered as a fail. I think that concludes our videos and presentation. Thank you for your time and kind attention. We might, we apologize if we might have some, said something wrong. And once again, thank you.